Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, where we're all real nervous because at some point tonight, all of us will end up in the hot seat. Hey, this episode was sponsored by the makers of Hot Seat. They're sitting at home in their hot little seats right now, and we're playing their game. I'm gonna teach you guys how to play this. It's pretty easy. Oh wait, I think there's another order of business that we need to do before we do that, and that is we need to get some beer. Wild rice brown ale. Oh, oh your favorite? It might be. From the Barley John's Brewing Company. This beer has a soft chocolate and dark fruit taste with subtle vanilla notes. Complex and smooth, just like that wild brunette. Mmm. That's not bad. Chalky, cocoa-y. Is zesty the right word? Yeah, zest. Mm -hmm. Hey, wild brunette, why don't you come by my house sometime and we will braid each other's hair. <laughs> You'll have a tough time. And so will I, because I don't know how to braid. Each round, answer a question about the player currently in the hot seat. Try to fool the other players into thinking that your response was written by that player. We are starting off with Aaron in the hot seat. Let's go. I've got three cards here. I'm going to choose one. And you're going to either discard these other two, or you're going to give one to one of us to try and screw us. I'm going to give one to Brandon, mm -hmm. so when his turn comes around, he has to do that one. What dating advice would I give to myself at age 16? Don't go to the movies. Don't wear a cape on a date. Wear two capes <laughs> and listen. Don't wear a cape on a date was your answer. I'll guess that too. That's what I was going to go with. That is the correct answer. If this question ever comes up and I, like, while I'm the guy sitting in the hot seat, the answer will be don't date Heidi. Can At you talk about the reasons for oh, that? Because she was horrible. She thought she was dying all the time. Oh. Now, like, not like a rational person thinks that they're dying all not, the time. Not in a charming way. Yeah. <laughs> I get one point for each player that guesses the answer I wrote. Okay. All other players get a point for each player that guesses their answer. Two points for guessing the player in the hot seat's answer correctly. Ugh. Or if you had the same answer, four points. All right, I have drawn three cards. I am discarding that one. I'm going to give this one to Craig. Oh, awesome. yeah. Force him. What would I choose to be paid with if money wasn't an option? Love. Cats. <laughs> Brandy. Hot dogs. <laughs> Fairly obvious you didn't write that one. Or you're trying to trick us. He does like hot dogs. I'm going to say love. Brandy. I gotta go with hot dogs. Correct answer is hot dogs. Yes! Oh. oh, I had a feeling. I'm so happy you amused yourself. <laughs> so I shot myself in the foot by writing a cookie answer. A little bit, yeah. Mm. What is something I hope to never become? You know, and I did just realize so we should all have the same pen. Do yeah, that's you a good idea. realize? We should all or maybe not ripped like have that. the same pen. <laughs> what is something I hope to never become? A square stricken with Alzheimer's, a Janesville resident, massively in debt. Massively in debt. I'm going to go with a square. I will say a Janesville resident. Massively in debt is correct. I do not want to be massively in debt. Read the question I force you to take, Brandon. Okay. What is the weirdest thing that has popped into my head during sex? Bam. Nailed it. Okay, what is the weirdest thing that has popped into my head during sex? An arrow? SpongeBob? <laughs> my mom? When should I dump her? <laughs> I'm going with an arrow. SpongeBob. I'm going to take SpongeBob too. It was SpongeBob. Ah. Hey! And two points for me because I wrote an arrow because it was funny. <laughs> He's real proud of himself. <laughs> what did I do just to be cool when I was in middle school? Won a race. Hung out with the bad crowd. Hide in lockers. <laughs> smoked a cig. <laughs> Very odd wording on some of those. Pretty sure they were called cigs. <laughs> hide in lockers. Hung out with the bad crowd. Uh, I'm gonna go with hide in lockers. Hung out with the bad crowd. Boom! Oh. So two points for you, buddy. And then? One point for me. And then? 
more points for you. Surprisingly, I would rather blank than blank. Die than dance. I would rather be dead than sleep. <laughs> They're all gonna be morbid. I would rather eat a bowl of sand than shit outside. <laughs> I would rather sleep than eat. So I'm gonna say die than dance. Bowl of sand than shit outside. D die than death. <laughs> I mean dance than die. Die and dance. None of you got it correct. Oh. What? I would rather sleep than eat. I guess it makes sense. I don't know if Matt and I have this in common, but I spend about 25% of my day shouting at inanimate objects. I spend 25% of my day dropping things and then yelling fuck off. <laughs> That's what I do all day long. Ain't nothing badass about a banquet. Well, we're sure having a fun time playing Hot Seat, and you could play it too if you go to their Kickstarter campaign, contribute, you can get a copy of the game for your own self. When I'm sent to hell, what song will be playing on repeat? I don't know what you hate the most. You hate so many things. I hate so much. I have so much hate to give. I didn't know that you were going to be sent to hell. Let's find out what song's going to play when I go to hell. If you get there before me, if you hear this song coming, you'll know I'm there. Stop by to say hi. Stairway to Heaven, ironic song, just to rub it in. We built this city. Mm. Raps. <laughs> Long Black Veil. Bam -ba lam Long Black Veil, bam -ba lam Man got hanged, bam -ba lam for something he didn't do, bam -ba lam <laughs> Long Black Veil. Long Black Veil. Long Black Veil. One Black Veil is the correct answer. Yes. Wow, that was it the first was one. so really? specific and I don't it's even know what song it is. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to give a point that we built this city because that is the correct answer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, you can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> What's something I do that most people disagree with? Run around. <laughs> talk. Talk. Oh, oh, oh those, those are canceled out. If two people say the same thing, unless one of them was yours. Wait, wait, he can't say that now. He has to. If if that was your answer, then you have to admit it. it one of them was. All right. What happens now, that if someone responds with the same answer as the player in the hot seat, they get four points and the round is over. What? So well, read Craig's. Usual life stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. That's so crazy. I guess talk, so I get four points. Personally, I disagree very much when you run around. <laughs> I I just, that is the truth. I don't like it either. I'm, and I'm paying for a gym membership. <laughs> Basically, just a donation. What could I do to completely mess up my life in the next hour? <laughs> Drink all the drinks. Burn everything. <laughs> Get stabbed. <laughs> Shit outside. <laughs> Someone likes to talk about shitting outside. I'll say burn everything. I'll say drink all the drinks. Get stabbed. The correct answer that I said was get stabbed. Hey, I'm gonna give this to Craig. Thanks. What is the strangest thing I do on a daily basis? See, two of us know you well enough where we can actually kind of go through your day. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me. Strangest thing I do on a daily basis. Speak Hebrew in my sleep. Touch weird things. <laughs> Moisturize. <laughs> Harness a cat. Moisturize. Going with moisturize. You both chose moisturize, so by deduction, I have to say moisturize. That's three points for me. Yes. Who sucked out the feeling, am I right? Sucked out a feeling. <laughs> sucked out a feeling. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Oh, some more creamy goodness. Stop doing the aggressive hand jive. <laughs> Hot seat, nothing but hot seat, nothing but hot seat, hot under seat. your butt. <laughs> the game we're playing tonight, Hot Seat, was created by the people who created the voting game, a party game now in Target stores nationwide. They have a new expansion out. It's called the Election Expansion. Let's take a look back into the mists of the past and see back... Ah. <laughs> to when we played the voting game. Who will be the hardest to recognize in 10 years? Got one vote for me. 
One vote for Matt. Three votes. For me? For <laughs> I think in 10 years you're gonna transform into a fungus. <laughs> Why do you guys think I'm gonna be the least recognized? You, you're gonna in turn into a fungus. Makes Have you seen the way he eats? Fungus worms. I eat. He's, I, he's not living more than another few Taco years. Taco Bell, Pizza Hut's new hot dog crust. I know. Uh, he walked never. in with a giant pizza <laughs> after sleeping in the middle of the day on the highway. Was this dude is done. That was he's a, got very limited time left. That was a depression <laughs> pizza. Everybody it's gets depression pizza. 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 You get my point? And we're back. <sighs> what do I crave, but rarely get? Rewording. Rewording. I am a human computer. <laughs> I must give an answer that seems like a human condition. Oil. Ah, crap. <laughs> I have failed the Turing test once again. <laughs> Looks like the bearded man will kill me now. What do I crave, but I rarely get? Lay on me. Respect. I am reading that correctly. Respect. A relaxing day. Huevos rancheros. <laughs> Steam the vegetables. <laughs> A relaxing day. A relaxing day. Relaxing day. Relaxing day! Man. Woo! They don't come to me as much as they should. You know I don't like huevos. Dude, I don't care. <laughs> I'm forcing this one upon you. Hoisting it upon me. Foisting. Speaking of Hamilton, I just listened to it for the first time recently. Yeah? It's pretty great. He sings raps. Yeah? Does he live? I'm not saying. I hope he lives. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive today. He died of, across the East River? He gave it away, man. The guy who killed him was Bill Burr. Hey, you know the thing about Hamilton? I don't think I don't think he's so great, folks. You know what? Uh, I, I don't think I'm speaking out of school here, but uh, I, I think I think he's kind of a fag. <laughs> what first world problem do I struggle with? Guitar store dudes and their attitudes. <laughs> My dad is sucky. Beatniks. Too many shoes. The guitar store. Too many shoes. I'm taking the guitar store. It was my dad that is sucky. Damn it. Yeah, I should have taken the third. Oh no. Ah! Yesterday I was in aisle four. I found my favorite pour. It's a type of flower I call the flower made by U-Haul. I am a chopper. He is a chopper. I am a chopper. He is a chopper. The other time I was in aisle six, I found some giant bricks. I wondered how much they were. The shop owner said they were for. I am a shopper. I am a shopper. I am a shopper. He is a shopper. What is something I regret not having done yet in my life? Isn't Milk. There some sort of sports game on tonight? All kinds of stuff. Isn't there some kind of sports game on tonight? <laughs> a sportings match? What about a, a football contest? Is that occurring? <laughs> a football yes. concert, I believe it's called. Hey, what is something I regret not having done yet in my life? Sports? <laughs> Ran over a woman with a carriage. I don't know, Paris? Visit El Salvador or wherever. <laughs> wherever. I'm gonna go with I don't know, Paris. It's so Craig Avillian. I don't know Paris. I don't know Paris. I don't know Paris. Well done, everyone. What future invention am I really looking forward to? Easiest answer. Why do you have that? It was a shirt. Where? <laughs> why? Where? The at the mall. Oh, you just saw it and was, you were like, I like that. It's yeah. A, it's a jar. Yeah. I was like, look, it says corn whiskey. Corn whiskey. If you put your ear up to it, it goes. Mm, da -da, mm, da -da, mm, da -da. <laughs> What future invention am I really looking forward to? Sex bot. The outdoor shitoir. <laughs> <laughs> sex bot. Oh, did you write sex bot? I did not, but I almost okay. did. Okay, then those two answers are disqualified. Third one, sex bot. Invincibility. The outdoor shitoir, because you've been saying shit answers all night. <laughs> Invincibility. I know the, the right answer, and it's sex bot. I'm, I'm, I'm saying sex bot. I'm just gonna say no. Zero <laughs> points for me. You're waiting for the sex bot. <laughs> I put invincibility. Uh, what's the total? Because this is the end. Matt, 27 points. Craig, 25 points. Brandon, 24 points. Aaron with 27 points. You two <gasps> lovebirds tie. Me! No! I came back and tied. Mm, 
<laughs> Alex Yang Nicodime. The first three minutes seemed like stuff you guys would normally cut, and I'm so glad you didn't. It was hysterical. We never cut anything, you guys. Come on. We don't cut things. The edited version of the episode has everything that happened in it. <laughs> Otherwise, if you think you are missing something, then you should go to live.beerandboard.com where you can guarantee that you didn't miss anything. Yeah. The Binary Sun writes, I'm only two minutes in and this is already the best episode in years. You let yourselves drink. <laughs> you let yourselves be loose and not so sterile. Sterile? And it's hilarious. It's like watching one of the first episodes like Dark Tower or something. So it was, it was, it was, it was. We're not sterile, binary. Yeah, we'd love to drink that heavily and get loose every episode. But if you want us to keep making the show and not die, I don't really think we can do that every single time. Left Hand Shake, this was lots of fun. The drunkest beer and board games I've seen in a while. Are Matt and Aaron immune to alcohol now or something? Or is that just the magic of editing, and really they were sipping water half the time? Now, I drank about a quart of whiskey, and it was not good. I honestly, like, I was, I got really, really drunk. Though I've been drunk enough that at this point, then I can actually sort of like control myself a little bit when I'm performing. Yeah, thank God for that. Yeah, Emily Eisenheim, ah ha 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 ha. Drunk Hank Green asking for Dylan. Make that happen. It's in the works. It could happen. I think it's inevitable. Adventures in Nerdery. A.K.A. Shane and Jerry. Oh, is that them, Shane and Jerry? Mm -hmm. Hi, Shane and Jerry. Oh, man, Benson's gay comment made it into the show. Yes, Colin Hickey replies, so good. We're All three of those guys are gay. You may, you may not know that. They also have wives and kids. However, they are still very gay. Yeah, so the gayness sometimes gets them into a little trouble. Thanks for watching as usual, and check out some other episodes of Beer and Board Games. Hey, we referenced Dark Tower in these comments. Maybe you should go watch that one. Bye. So the role of Greg Benson will now be played by Hannah Hart. Hey, hey all right. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. So you need seven cards, seven of these cards. Good sign for me. Good work. <laughs> You've got okay. several green cards. It means you're doing well. How would I summarize my high school years? Oh, my God. Done. <laughs>